Now it's time to see what great properties are on the market. It is a very big welcome to Elaine Burkett from Mike Piero Real Estate. How are you? I'm great, thanks. How oh, are you? Good. I always look forward to my Friday visits with you. What have you got for us today? I've got some um, properties that are really highly desired. So whether it be location or the street or the outlook. You know, nice. OK, really we're going to start in Christchurch. Yeah, so this one is um, in New Brighton and it's actually an iconic property on Lonsdale Street. It's not often available. It's the first time on the market in 30 years. So it's had some improvements over the years with a few modern touches. Um, you'll notice that the living room still retains some of that original character. Yeah, that is awesome. And you notice that on the outside too, that original character. That's right. Yeah, it's a large family home. It's got four bedrooms and it's in zone for the new high school. So Shirley Boys and Avonside Girls. Um, and beautiful um, park outlook there. That's uh, Rafferty Domain. So... Yeah, it's love. nice backing onto a park, isn't it? Because it gives you a sense of space mm. and you don't have yeah. neighbours. And then if you're playing sport, you can just jump over the fence, get yeah. the ball around. It's great. And it's got, you know, the po heated pool. It's got spa pool and sauna. sauna. So lots of nice resort style amenities and only um, th within 300 metres to Marine Parade and the beach there. Yeah, so. that is brilliant. And look at that nice big lawn. Yeah. Lovely character. Lovely price, I'm sure. What are we looking at? It's by negotiation, high sixes, early sevens. Brilliant. That's a lot of house for that, it isn't is. it? Yeah. <laughs> Incredible, go Christchurch. Okay, we'll stay in the South Island. This time we'll head further north, we'll head to Nelson. Mm -hmm. And this one is um, situated in uh, Marsden Park. So you'll see it's got a semi-rural outlook. It's a GJ Gardner built home, so they're quite highly regarded. Um, it's got its gorgeous centrally located kitchen and nice tones, you know, not overly modern. I mean, it's a modern interior, but it's going to date really well. It's just classic. Yeah, it is. And, you know, again, on the outside, it's that classic New Zealand weatherboard look, isn't it? But it is a new build. Mm -hmm. Brilliant. Yeah, and you've got um, the great separation here. So you'll notice that there's some cavity sliders between the formal living and that open plan area. So you can keep it completely open or shut it off. <laughs> shut it off. <laughs> when mum and dad are having a party and the kids need to go and watch a movie. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah lots of options. Uh, look, it's a four bedroom home. It's got two bathrooms. It's got a double car garage and it's 221 square metres. Um, it's on 1,920 square metre site and you can see that lovely semi-rural outlook. It's just beautiful house. Yes, built up on the hill there. I guess it's got some great sweeping views. Mm. No neighbours, I noticed, as well. That's OK, great. so it is now, Sim. What are we talking price-wise? Uh, we're talking offers over 859000 Brilliant. That's, again, a lot of house for that it sort of It is a lot of house. Yeah. You can tell I live in Auckland, can't you? <laughs> uh, speaking of which, we're going to head there, Remuera in Auckland. Yeah, now this is a, one of the most prestigious Addresses. It's a lock and leave freehold title. So, you know, often the smaller properties we don't get that. It's located on Victoria Avenue. So, lovely, lovely property. Nice um, neutral tones. Yes, it is. And the, the ground floor um, boasts open plan lounge and dining. You've got a nice modern kitchen area. Um, I lived in Remuera for a while, loved it. It was good. It's a really great central mm. suburb. You yeah, know. No, and this good. property is within walking distance up to the Remuera village. Nice. It's also close to hook into the city if you need to. It's close on bus routes as well. Mm. Um, and as I said, perfect little lock and leave. It's fairly low maintenance. This is the study. So it's two bedrooms plus a study, or you could have it as three bedrooms. Really good appeal there if education's a priority. Oh, look at that master, by the looks yeah. of it, an ensuite and a walk-in yep. wardrobe. And some brilliant views. Yeah, so you're zoned for Auckland Grammar, um, Epson Girls Grammar. Okay, nice. Really where a primary. So. Okay, so it is Auckland. Roughly, what are we talking? <laughs> That one's priced at 1.598. OK, right. So you can see the difference, can't you, between a house in Nelson and a house in Auckland. It is Rimmel Weir, though. It's a priceless lifestyle. It's there. a priceless lifestyle. I like what you said there. <laughs> OK, we'll stay in Auckland this time. We're heading over the bridge to the North Shore. Yeah, and Okura is a wonderful little settlement. Um, and we're just getting to know it, really. Well, I am. I'm not a North Shore person. So this one is um, just five minutes' drive from the Mega Mall, um, Albany and Browns Bay. The current owners built the property in the 70s, so it's retained some of that character and then there are some elements that have been modernised. It would suit a, a medium to large sized family um, and it's got a floor area, area of approximately 210 square metres. Wow, OK, cool, that's quite big, yep. isn't it? Yeah. You've got your beautiful balconies and all that, it just looks so nice and peaceful. 
This is the downstairs area, which is a real versatile space. So it could be um, studio, rumpus. You could have it as an extra bedroom if you need to. Oh, it's got a swimming pool, little pool there. Yeah, and it's just a lovely wee setting. And, you know, you could really picture yourself relaxing in that space. And I noticed in the aerial shot, too, it's on a cul-de-sac. So, mm -hmm. you know, those streets are often quiet. You're not having traffic buzzing through. Yeah. Only people that live there that, come down it. That's right. And it's near the Okura River, which is great for um, kayaking, paddleboarding and safe swimming. Nice, okay, how much are we talking? Oh, let's have a look. That one's inquiries over 1.029 million. Nice work, okay, cool. Rightio, finally today, a little even further north, mm -hmm. Rodney, what have you got for us yeah, there? Yeah, this one's a generously um, renovated character home and it's in a real picture postcard coastal setting. It's a little quaint settlement um, called Rainbow's End. So this is the kind of home that goes beyond just a living space and it provides a nice artful retreat, really. You'll, you'll just see the, the character in it is astounding. It's gorgeous. Yes, a very intriguing, I guess mm. is the word I would use for yeah, that kitchen. so it's been beautifully <laughs> fitted out. Yeah, hasn't um, it? Yeah, as you'd expect, nice open plan living spaces. And you can see truly open plan there with the bedrooms coming off the living space. Mm. Um, the bed master bedroom's got this lovely ensuite. Um, and it, it really cleverly designed and of course it's got that tranquility and the gorgeous views um, over the Glen Eden River. Look at that. Yeah, nice. and over um, the Cowrie Glade as well, so it's quite a special property. Okay, and how much are we talking for this one? That one's priced at 1.1 million. Really? Okay, cool, that's a surprise. That is awesome. <laughs> Beautiful houses again, Elaine, thank you so much. Thanks. Have a great weekend, we'll see you next week. And if you want to see more on those properties and others, you can go to mikepero.com.